If you're trying to break into tech by building a bunch of surface level projects and putting them on your resume, you're wasting your time. For example, YouTube and Netflix clones, to-do apps, forget about them. AI can make these projects in a single prompt. In today's world, if you're building these outdated projects, forget about even getting shortlisted at your dream company. The very projects that helped me get offers at Google, Amazon, and Microsoft five years ago probably wouldn't cut it in 2025. The tech market has changed and so should your projects. Hi friends, I'm Maddie. I'm a senior software engineer who previously worked at Google and interned at other big tech companies like Amazon, IBM, and Microsoft. I've been through the entire hiring process multiple times, from coding interviews to system design rounds to final offer negotiations. I know exactly what these companies look for because I've seen it from both sides, as a candidate who got hired and as someone who's given interviews at Google. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what type of projects actually get you noticed by big tech recruiters in 2025. I'll break down why traditional projects are dead and give you four specific AI driven project ideas that demonstrate the skills companies are looking for right now. We'll start with why the bar shifted so dramatically, then jump straight into the projects you can start building right away. Everything from AI dev tools to systems monitoring platforms. So let me start by walking you through how dramatically the landscape has changed. I'll first quickly touch upon what used to work. When I was interviewing for new grad roles, I had projects like a Chrome extension for workout music, an ELO ranking system for foosball, a VR flying game, and an accessibility app for form filling. These projects worked in 2020 because they showed creativity, technical competence, and problem solving. But here's the brutal truth. They're now what I call tutorial tier. Chrome extensions, basic CRUD apps with algorithms, even VR development. These have become so accessible that anyone can build them with ChatGPT in a weekend. That barrier to entry has plummeted. What took me weeks to figure out before the age of AI, a first year CS student can probably build in a weekend with AI assistance. Companies aren't just looking for people who can code anymore. They want strategic thinkers who can build complex systems that solve real problems at scale. The projects that stand out now have three major characteristics. They solve genuine problems that people actually face. They demonstrate understanding of modern AI workflows, and they show depth rather than breadth, going deep into one complex system rather than building multiple shallow apps. If I were trying to break into big tech in 2025, here are some example projects I'd pick. Project one, AI powered code review assistant. I build a tool that integrates with GitHub pull requests and provides intelligent code review suggestions, not just basic linting, but actually understanding context, suggesting architectural improvements and flagging potential security issues. This would involve fine tuning language models on code review data, building integrations with multiple version control systems and creating a dashboard for engineering teams to track code quality metrics over time. You learn about webhook integrations, AI model fine tuning, and building tools that developers actually would want to use. The technical challenges would include handling large code bases, understanding context across multiple files, and providing suggestions that are actually helpful rather than generic. This project would demonstrate AI integration, understanding of software development workflows, and solves a real problem that every engineering team faces. The second project I suggest is creating a monitoring platform that uses AI to predict system failures before they happen. Instead of just tracking metrics after problems occur, this system would analyze patterns in logs, performance data, and user behavior to flag potential issues hours or days in advance. This involves building data pipelines that can handle massive log volumes, implementing ML models for anomaly detection, and creating dashboards that engineering teams can actually use during incidents. You learn about things like distributed systems, time series analysis, and building reliable infra. The key is making predictions easy to understand and actionable. Not just something might go wrong, but your database is likely to hit connection limits in six hours based on current traffic patterns. The third project I'd suggest is a personal AI knowledge assistant. Build a system that ingests all of your personal documents, emails, notes, and learning materials, then provides conversational access to your entire knowledge base. Imagine asking, what were the key takeaways from that system design book I read last month and getting accurate cited responses. This project involves building vector databases, implementing RAG or retrieval augmented generation, handling privacy and security for personal data, and creating a seamless chat interface. You learn about things like modern AI architectures, data ingestion pipelines, and building systems that handle sensitive data properly. The challenge is making it actually useful, not just a search interface with extra steps, but a system that can actually synthesize information across multiple sources and provide personalized insights that you couldn't otherwise get. A fourth project I would suggest is creating a tool that automatically generates and maintains technical documentation for code bases. It would analyze code structure, get history, and team communications to create comprehensive docs that actually stay up to date. This involves NLP, code analysis, integration with development workflows, and building systems that can understand complex software architectures. You learn about static analysis, Analysis, automated content generation, and solving one of the biggest pain points in software development, writing documentation. The technical depth comes from understanding how to analyze code semantically, not just syntactically, and generating documentation that's actually helpful to new team members.
Based on what I'm seeing in hiring patterns, here are the general rules for projects that would actually get you noticed. Rule one, solve real problems. Don't just build another portfolio site or to-do app. Find those genuine pain points, either problems that you personally have faced or ones that you've observed in the industry. The best projects come with frustration from existing tools. Rule number two, integrate AI meaningfully. Every compelling project nowadays would use AI, but don't just throw a ChatGPT wrapper at everything. Show that you actually understand where AI would add real value. For example, specific tasks like code analysis, content generation, or pattern recognition. Rule three, show production level thinking. Include things like monitoring, error handling, and scalability considerations. Deploy with proper CI, CD, and show that you think about systems, not just individual features. And rule number four, demonstrate business impact. Include metrics. For example, how many users does your app have? How much time has it saved? how much cost reduced. Recruiters care about business outcomes. If you can't get real users, that's totally fine. At least benchmark performance improvements or simulate realistic usage. And finally, rule five, go deep, not wide. It's better to build one sophisticated system that you can show off and explain in depth rather than five basic apps. It's true that you can handle complexity and think through trade-offs. So in conclusion, the projects that got me in the big tech five years ago might have been satisfactory for their time, but the bar has moved dramatically. In 2025, you need to think bigger, into integrate AI thoughtfully and solve problems that actually matter to businesses. Please don't get discouraged if this seems overwhelming at first. Trust me, there may be a bit of a learning curve, but the tools are better, the resources are more abundant, and the opportunities are bigger than ever. The key is understanding that building projects isn't just about demonstrating coding skills anymore. It's about showing that you can think strategically about complex problems and build solutions that real people want to use. If this video helped clarify what kind of projects actually matter in today's market, please hit that like button and subscribe for more career advice. I'll be sharing more insights on breaking into tech, interview strategies, and navigating the modern job market. Thanks for watching, and I'll see See you in the next one.